Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and I have realized we well we haven't done any any unboxings recently. Yeah, you know the recession and stuff, so I I haven't bought anything new until today. So today we're going to do an unboxing of my new hand grinder. Now you may ask Jack, you have three hand grinders, why do you need another one? Uh I don't know. <laughs> But I got another hand grinder, Easy or One uh, Z Presso J Max. I already have K Max, and I was I was really really impressed with that uh, hand grinder, the build quality, and the performance. So I, I I really want to see how this grinder, how this grinder, well, how it feels, how it looks like, how it grinds, and how the coffee tastes. Today we will do unboxing and maybe a quick. Uh, first try. By the way, it's never too early to click like and, and subscribe to the channel. So if you have a spare second, you can you can click that button. Uh, I will also upload some uh, affiliate links in the description for the Amazon. So if you want to support the channel, you can you can click on them. You pay the normal price, and I may earn some small commission. It's nice. Um, normal size box but it looks quality it looks it looks premium easy presser logo the simpler the better well I, I could probably put it on my tombstone what else hand coffee grinder the same as with K Max with carrying case it feels slightly lighter possibly I don't know but and inside we've got nice brush harder on one side and softer on the other side what else here you've got a blower it helps you to clean your your grinders you've got that rubber band that helps with the grip slightly different size than the one with k max obviously the handle so uh, that feels like a steel this is the wooden knob very nice i really appreciate that the feel here well it looks like a frosted glass but it is in fact a plastic uh, overall overall again I'm, I'm i really like the quality of uh, this particular brand and the grinder itself so I went for this color, it feels nice. So there's that little wrap here that again, helps you with the grip. There are some differences in the shape between this and the K-Max. I will show you everything when we, when we compare those two grinders. This one is a straight line. The K-Max uh, is slightly wider at the bottom. What I really like about this series of grinders is that the settings are outside. You know exactly where you are. Now, because this offers more in terms of adjustabilities, there are much more settings than K-Max. K-Max only have one rotation. Here you will have multiple rotations. To help you keep a, a track on where you are, you have those dots here. So when you move, from one rotation to another, you see, now you only see two rows of, of dots. Inside, the support here, it, it is plastic, but there's lots of stainless steel. The body itself, I think it's made out of aluminium. Again, it looks quality. Uh, the burrs themselves, uh, I think they are 48 millimeters uh, obviously conical burrs. So that catching cup is attached magnetically, but it fits tightly. See, you won't do it just by chance. So once it's attached, it, it won't go anywhere. Overall, the hand grinder, in my opinion, looks awesome, looks very professional. If you compare it with something like my Commandante, Commandante looks more like a toy. I'm not sure about that sign, that could be some Chinese symbols, I don't know. Uh, if you do, then you can leave the, the comments. Easy Presser logo here, J Max written here. 
honestly the, the build quality really 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 good so here we have it i have no idea why but every video about hand grinders has to include this when you uh, rotate the the handle not sure what that's supposed to prove but everybody every famous youtuber do this so i i do it as well okay i hope you're satisfied the adjustments themselves obviously that's a step grinder but the adjustments the space between one and another click it's eight point something microns the main purpose of this grinder will be espresso and apparently you have you can really really dial in for the espresso because of those small changes i'm sure everybody wants to know how it compares with the k max so we will uh, do it soon but today I just want to see how, how it grinds uh, and maybe we will pull a shot or two. We will use the default profile on Descent. Wondering if I keep turning, will I eventually hit the spot where the zero is? Let's, let's have a look. Hunter clockwise. You know what? It's spot on. Spot on zero. So I, 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 I cannot... Well, I, maybe I could force it. Obviously, I'm a strong man, but... Uh, for a for a regular person you cannot go beyond zero so that's how far you can go and now uh, the starting point uh, well, that's what i heard the starting point is it's two full rotations so i will start with two full rotations uh and we will adjust accordingly we need some coffee one of the viewers recommended the coffee from manchester and you know what I, I actually read through your comments and I listen to what you say and I put some notes so I have a list of, of coffees that the viewers are recommending so especially if you live in UK uh, if you have any coffee that you, you would recommend then, then please leave the comments I will put it on the list I, I cannot promise I will buy everything but if I find something interesting I will definitely do I've done it in the past and uh, today I mean, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce the name of that uh, roaster, man, co, 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 anyway, you can see it, it's a, a roaster from Manchester, and obviously naturally processed because that's my favorite uh, type of coffee. The tasting notes, are papaya, strawberry, lime, hint of rum and brown sugar. Now, if I can get all of that, I'm a happy man. I love the boozy flavor of my naturally processed coffee. Oh, this coffee has been roasted on the 7th of, of June and I'm recording it on the 11th. So uh, it's probably still, it's probably still need to rest for a couple more days, but we will see. 18 grams of coffee in. Okay, so there is, it takes some effort I wouldn't say it's effortless, but it's a first shot. Um, so I had some similar issues with the K Max. It took 30 seconds. The, the first, let's say halfway through, it was, it was difficult, but it took 30 seconds. Uh, K Max, especially at the beginning, was, was much, much slower. You would expect maybe some retention, but it looks, to me, it looks clean. So we put 18 grams in and 17.9 grams out for the first shot. That's perfect. So 30 seconds of grinding, that's, that's brilliant. That's honestly, I'm already impressed. You probably will need that rubber band because every now and then it, 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 it was slippery. So the first shot took 12 seconds. So probably I will do one and a half rotation now. Uh, it took 37, uh, 38 seconds. Still not bad. And we've got something. Extraction looks nice. Is there a bit of channeling? I mean, that coffee is very fresh, so it's nothing uh, unusual. And we have a, a good-looking shot. 
shot took 39 seconds so I'm, I, I'm taking that it wasn't perfect you see lots of things going on now the grinder is unseasoned uh, you might not believe in a seasoning grinders but I think I, I think I do until someone proves me definitely wrong and, and obviously the coffee is probably still too fresh so the extraction wasn't uh, as perfect but but we managed to get something let's taste it uh the crema kind of a darkish color kind of a plums i can smell maybe tea i only had three coffees today and i'm recording it around 5 pm so uh, normally by this time I, I i have at least four first shot from j max and by the way i feel kind of proud of myself because i managed to get a coffee on the second shot from the grind that if you want to congratulate me on that you can leave it in the comments lots of things are going on in the in this coffee it's probably slightly over extracted okay that bitterness is there i can taste uh, dark caramel and there is there are some sour notes as well and some sweetness rum no and uh, the exotic fruits there are some fruits but um and i'm not sure if those are exotic fruits but you know what if you if you try the coffee that was just roasted or less than a week old you would you would you would know what i'm what i'm trying to say there are notes that are those flavor notes that hits you from from different sides uh, uh, difficult to to grab and describe them i i wouldn't say this particular shot is the best shot i've ever tried but it's it is interesting and i like interesting stuff there is a clarity in this shot okay? it's just those uh, flavor notes are hitting you from from all over and it's difficult to 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 concentrate to catch them <laughs> today's video is not about dialing in the coffee today's video is about the j max and the same as with the k max i have to say i am impressed in the one of my next videos um i will be comparing uh, j max versus k max for the espresso so definitely click like here and if you haven't subscribed you can set the notification so you won't miss the video uh, we will be comparing not just uh, k-max but we will also compare it with commandante and we will also compare it with kino and also we will be comparing it with niche with df64 and we will do pour overs as well and plenty other things so definitely worth to subscribe to the channel and guys if you have if you have j max let me know how you like it in the comments do you use it for pour over as well and if so what is your go-to setting how many rotations four five but for today thank you very much for watching my name is jack this is my coffee show this is brand new j max and hopefully i will see you soon thank you bye